iPadOS 14.0 is here, and in this video, I will show you how you can use one of its new features called Apple Scribble inside of GoodNotes 5. This is Jackie from Plan a Healthy Life, and let's get started. Apple iPad OS 14.0 was released on September 16th, 2020. This update is available for all iPad Pro devices, iPad 5th, 6th, and 7th generation, some of the iPad minis, and iPad Air models. You probably received a notification on your device if it's eligible for the updates or go to settings to see if you can install it. A cool new feature of iPad OS 14 is called Apple Scribble. It allows users to write with their Apple Pencil in any text field, where the writing will automatically be converted to typed text. So actions like replying to a message or searching in Safari is quick and easy. You can learn more about Apple Scribble at apple.com, but in this video, I'll show you how Scribble works in my favorite digital planning app, GoodNotes 5. Here I am in my digital planner inside of GoodNotes 5. You'll see that when I have the pen tool selected and write on my planner, it remains my unique, beautiful handwriting. Okay, I have messy handwriting and that's why I like to use text. In order to trigger Apple Scribble at this time in GoodNotes, you need to use the text tool in the upper right-hand corner. So click on the text tool and then using your Apple Pencil, tap on the screen where you want the text to appear and then start writing. Here I'm adding in some to-dos in my digital planner for next week. You'll notice my writing is messy, but Apple figures it out. You can then move the text box around using your finger or the Apple Pencil if you want to. As you can see, it's super easy to add in quick little notes or to-dos inside your planner. Again, just tap the screen where you want the text to begin and then start writing. I want to show you something that is super cool. Apple Scribble even works for messy cursive like this. It's so cool. I can write the fastest when I'm using cursive, but as you can see, it's a total mess. Now I can literally scribble notes, but be able to read them later. And here you can see I'm just modifying that text box to move it over so it fits inside my digital planner. I personally love this feature in GoodNotes because I hardly ever use handwriting in my digital planner. I always use text, as you can see from some of these images I'm showing you. And now Apple Scribble gives me another way to add text by writing in my messy handwriting or cursive, or I can type in using the on-screen keyboard like I did before the iOS update. If you check out the GoodNotes website, you'll see that the text tool is not yet optimized for Scribble. That's why you need to click on the text tool before writing. I'm sure GoodNotes will make changes to make this an even more seamless experience in the near future. So watch for GoodNotes 5 updates and check their support pages for more information. So that's Apple Scribble, a brand new iOS 14 feature and how it works in GoodNotes 5. I would really love to know, do you prefer using text in your GoodNotes digital planners or do you prefer your own handwriting? Please let me know in the comments. I can't wait to read them. And I'll link to the digital planner I'm using in the description box below. If you're interested in learning more about digital planning in GoodNotes 5, I'll link to my video tutorial. Happy planning!